Now let's look at some of the top prospects still on the board as signing day approaches. The top uncommitted defensive player is Byron Coward, a defensive end from Sefner, Florida. The senior from Armwood High School is a consensus top five overall player, but his goals go far beyond recruiting rankings. My goals, like I won't be satisfied until you know, my goals be Hall of Fame and NFL. I have to make outrageous goals so that while people are saying, oh, you'll never do that, I'm working towards my goal to reach my goal. And so like this was a goal to be a top player in the nation and all that stuff. And you know, I've reached it and stuff, but you know, I'm not satisfied. I won't ever be satisfied. Byron has a powerful six foot three inch, 250 pound frame. Combine that with his confidence and great technique, and you've got a real nightmare for high school quarterbacks. Violent, nasty, explosive. You know, I'm not blunt, I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna say, I'll beat you 10 out of 10. I'm perfect, nobody's perfect. You know, I'll slip up, anybody can slip up. I can get off wrong, I can slip anything, but you're not gonna consistently beat me. You know, I'm gonna find a way to beat you. As you could imagine, the list of schools to offer Byron is quite long, but he's narrowed it down to just a few. Florida, Florida State, and Auburn are the leaders in his recruitment. But Oregon and UCLA are still in the picture as well. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere for football. Like I said, once you reach this, this stage where you're you know, named as one of the top players, when football is time, you know, I have like three different personalities. When it's time for football, we're going to put in work. We're going to practice hard, work hard. When it's time you know, for academics, we're going to focus on that. I want my academic to match my football level, you know, high, elite. I want to, you know, get my master's, my degree, all that stuff. So, you know, I'm not going anywhere for just football. You know, I'll go somewhere, you know, who has the best, you know, opportunities and outlets for me as far as, you know, sports broadcasting. Coward is still taking visits to make sure he finds the perfect fit. So his decision may wait until signing day. Teams looking for a weapon at wide receiver are hot after DeMarcus Lodge from Cedar Hill, Texas. Playing at a powerhouse that always has Division I talent, DeMarcus was buried on the depth chart as a youngster but he was patient with coach Joey McGuire, who knew his time would come. At first it was pretty frustrating my sophomore year sitting behind Quincy and Quiv, knowing that I could play. We knew how good he was going to be, but he was also facing guys that were going to go to Ole Miss and go to, or trying to compete against guys that were going to A&M, so it wasn't like he was competing against guys that weren't as good as him. You know, it was one of those deals that he had to just keep learning, wait his time, and we knew it was going to happen. Lodge has turned into the star that he and his coach always knew he would. He's now led Cedar Hill to back-to-back -back state titles. After this year's win, Coach McGuire had a little message for those in the media who voted Lodge second team all state. I, I just want to make one, one little thing. When, you know, I did this in 06, I want to say it again. It's nothing, you know, I know everybody's got a job in here, but uh, I think y'all saw the game. And so uh, for this guy not to be first team all state uh, in AP is, is a mistake because if you watched every single game, every single game, they have to game plan for DeMarcus Lodge. And it's just as big as deal of him being out there as our offensive line blocking for said. And you saw it tonight. You saw it tonight. Thank you all very much. Once a Texas A&M commit, Lodge is still looking at his options. The Aggies are still in the mix, but Ole Miss, LSU, and Baylor are also possible destinations. In Nevada, Bishop Gorman wide receiver Cordell Broadus is weighing several scholarship offers. The six foot three inch wide out has the size and speed you look for in a playmaker, but he hopes people recognize his attitude as well. I have to say a uh, hard worker, team player, um, you know, uh, uh, always wanting to get the win for my team. If Cordell's last name sounds familiar to you, you're probably thinking of his dad, Calvin Broadus. Better known, of course, as Snoop Dogg. Having such a successful father certainly has its perks, and Cordell says his dad is always there to offer advice. Stay humble, work hard, and keep a chip on your shoulder, and try to get smarter, stronger, and faster every day. Even with a famous father, Cordell says his family support is no different than anyone else's, and he's grateful for all they do. Like for any other kid out here, you know, they play the same exact role. You know, being a father, looking over your son, you know, guiding him the right way, and so does my mother and the rest of my relatives. As far as where he may end up for college, Cordell doesn't really have a clear leader. While schools like LSU, Notre Dame, and Baylor are trying to lure him away from home, he has a long list of Pac-12 offers that includes UCLA, USC, Arizona State, and others. Recruiting has been going well. You know, I'm very blessed to be able to pick whatever school I want to go to around the whole country. And, uh, you know, I'm having fun with it and just taking my time. Broadus plans on announcing his decision on signing day.